This is a real-time animation taken directly off the uh, uh, Silicon Graphics Iris workstation. And what we're seeing is one of the scenes from a system that we're developing here in the Visible Language Workshop uh, for air traffic control. We are combining some of the traditional tools of air traffic controllers, such as the radar scope, with a 3D virtual environment and data visualization techniques in hopes to develop a system that makes intuitive some of the complexities of air traffic control. Here's the radar scope, uh, somewhat similar to what air traffic controllers use uh, on a daily basis, showing the aircraft as symbols, numbers, with their altitudes and velocities. We're including 3D objects such as airplanes and uh, the control tower and changing our views and landscape, water, coastline, airstrips, and clouds. And all of these objects are dynamic and they exist in the same 3D environment. Now from this scope view, we can switch with the click of a button into the 3D environment and we can rotate our view within that environment and zoom uh, closer to the point of interest which is the Logan Airport area. Things are happening in this area. Airplanes are taking off, landing. We can see this scene from far away, the state of Massachusetts and we can see Cape Cod there in the foreground and as we zoom in closer um, we can uh, move into this scene. We turn on the water and um, for a more realistic coastline and we can switch our gaze to this plane. Now from far away the planes are impossible to see so we can switch them to uh, be rendered as white dots so that we can see them from far away, see their patterns, how they're moving. We can also uh, get a view of their altitude with these lines and the uh, altitude is displayed in numbers at the top of these lines. We can also see their distance of each aircraft from the control tower. All of these views we can change our, our we can rotate our view and zoom and pan. Now this is green space which is a concept used in air traffic control. I'm moving back through time here to, to get a past constellation of the aircraft. Green space is a way of talking about distances between planes. And there are certain distances which are considered dangerous and others are considered safe. Yellow is displaying unsafe and red is very unsafe distances. These two planes were getting a closer view of, of this orange plane which is dangerously close to the pink plane. Um, so green space is something we're trying to visualize here. Uh, to make that information clear. And now I'm zooming away from that plane, still keeping my f view on it, but maintaining context by looking far away. As I said, I can switch pl uh, my view from any one plane to another. And this is done as, as a continual shift so to maintain context within the three space. We can also look at um, the airspace around the plane. This is a, sort of a graphical object or an, a mental object which pilots and air traffic controllers use when they're thinking about uh, this space. And um, these are like highways in the sky or big straws that each plane flies within. And these are objects which we can see from far away and uh, um, get a sense of how the uh, these pilots are um, staying within their, their range. The use of shadows and other uh, graphical techniques are, are helpful in understanding this three space. So the shadows can help in seeing altitude, which here the plane is landing, and we can see how close it is to the ground. Generally, um, I'm using graphical objects only when they help to bring the information forward. Uh, we can see the same uh, event from the control tower. And here I can move my virtual head to see the different directions from within the control tower. So 
and with the system we're trying to create as many different views as we can to look at the same event to help uh, bring um, to a more intuitive level these dynamic events for the air traffic controller. Switching right back to the scope view is something that we want to have always at the click of a button so that the control air traffic controller can bring things back to the familiar. Thank you very much.